Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to actually be showing you guys what is in my medicine kit for baby. These things I've picked up over the year of Olivia being alive. She's going to be a year guys in a few weeks. So I'm going to show you my staples which I always have to have in my baby's medicine cabinet. Now if you're interested in motherhood content on YouTube then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Feel free to also just browse my channel and if it's something that you do like then please do subscribe. Right, should we start? Right guys, I'm sure you've heard of this. This is gripe water and it is so good. So Olivia had wind and usually babies who are bottle fed, they're probably more prone in getting wind. So Olivia was combination fed and she used to produce a lot of wind. Um, so the health visitor actually recommended us to use this just to help to relieve the wind and the gas that used to build up with Olivia. And it is fantastic. Um, we used to just put it in her feed. And yeah, it used to really, really help. And I absolutely love this. This is a staple for us and also for our next baby. So if you want to help your baby release some gas, <laughs> then try grind water. Cowpol is a paracetamol for babies and infants. And you can only use it, I think, from... I think it's two months old only, so not under that age. So we usually use this when we take baby to have their vaccinations and it just helps to relieve um, pain or fever or anything like that, cold and flu symptoms, teething, headaches, sore throat, earache and you know other ailments that baby may have. Um, fan fantastic, absolutely brilliant cowpole. It doesn't have to be cowpole, it can be any infant paracetamol but this is what we use and it also comes with a syringe as well which actually fits into this bottle here so yeah this definitely has to be in our cupboard 100% because you just don't know when baby will fall ill especially when they're teething as well now that is the worst so it is really good to have on hand some pain relief for baby Right, okay guys, so <laughs> this is a 100% must. Saline nasal spray is uh, another 100% must, another staple for us. Olivia, when it came to the winter time, she must have been about four months old, she produced loads of mucus up there <laughs> and it became really thick and hard and she struggled to breathe and our oh, night times were a nightmare saline nasal spray for babies it helps to just break down that hard bit of bogey that is blocking baby's nostril to help them breathe again and it is fantastic you can actually get it in a spray form like this one or you can get it in the drops now the nasal drops I'm not too keen on because Olivia used to really struggle with that one. She used to fight me like crazy. And you just never knew whether it actually went into the nostril because baby would be moving their head so much. Whereas this one, you actually put it up the nostril and you spray. So yes, nasal spray to help unblock your baby's nostrils. Help them breathe. They need to breathe. <laughs> Right, so Sudocrem is an antiseptic healing cream. Um, a lot of people in the UK use this. I'm sure this is in other countries as well. Um, but basically, uh, we use it for nappy rash. This is the only reason that we use it for, although it does say you can use it for many other things like eczema, surface wounds, sunburns, and so forth. But we only use it for nappy rash. And yeah, it's very, very good at just making sure that baby's skin is protected because obviously they're going to be in their nappy and weeing and pooping in their nappies and you know you want to protect their delicate and sensitive skin so yeah pseudocreme is another staple of mine
Okay, so ear thermometers, and these are the ear pieces that comes with it. We brought the Braun brand, we actually got this from Argos, and an ear thermometer we use as opposed to the ones that you put in the armpits because apparently, says the doctors, these are more accurate, they're quicker, and yeah, it's just to tell baby's temperature, which is very, very important, I think, to have one of these in your medicine kit. Um, so yeah, we used this on Olivia just a couple of days ago and we found out that she had a really high temperature, which was 38.4, which is crazy. And yeah, it's just really simple to use. It's got the ear piece on there, as you can see. You just pop it in the air, you press the button, and it gives you a reading straight away. So these are really good in keeping an eye on your baby's temperature and making sure that it is in the safe range. And also, you know, if it isn't, then you know to what to do. <laughs> Call your doctor. <laughs> Now this isn't really something that you'd put in your medicine cabinet or kit, I mean you can if you want to, it's good to keep certain things together I think. Um, so yeah, these are just nail clippers because baby's nails grow very very fast and it's good to just keep them nice and trimmed. I don't have a problem with using nail clippers, I know some parents are quite fearful in case they cut baby's skin, um, but yeah we've never ever had a problem <laughs> with that, so yeah. We need these, otherwise baby will scratch themselves until they bleed or they will scratch you until you bleed and it's not very nice. I have included sunscreen on my list because I think it is very important to make sure that our baby's skin is protected. Um, this is throughout the whole year really but definitely in the summer. So we use um, this one, it's, it's a spray that we use. Um, it's just easier, I feel, to apply onto baby's skin. So sunscreen protects the skin from harmful UV rays from the sun. So it's always good to protect baby's skin, as well as yours as well, mama. <laughs> and because Olivia's got such a bald head right now, she's got no hair, guys. <laughs> got to protect her head. <laughs> so yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So those were my staples. Obviously as Olivia is getting older, I will be adding things into her medical kit because gosh, if you guys have a baby who is active, like a toddler, they're so accident prone and Olivia has fallen so many times. No matter how much baby proofing we are doing, she still manages to like, I don't know, hurt herself somehow. So one thing that I will actually mention as well is plasters. So we've got quite a few of these plasters. They're nice colourful ones as well for kids, you know, make it look all pretty and all that. Don't you think that's a really cute plaster? I think it's lovely. I'd wear that. <laughs> so yeah, so plasters is another thing which is on the list. Another thing that I am also going to be purchasing is some antihistamine because Olivia has eczema and from what I believe people who have eczema they're more prone to allergies and things like that and reactions and stuff so I want to make sure that I have some in my kit just in case for kids obviously so yes that's what I'm going to be purchasing at some point right <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully it has helped some of you mums out there, especially you first time mums. So if you have children already who is older than mine and you have other things that you put in your kit then please put it in the comments down below. I would love to see it and also think about purchasing it or getting it myself. And also it will help other mothers as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you liked this content and also browse my channel, guys, and see if there's anything that you like. If you do, subscribe as well. And comment, like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.